Now that you're in contract, both buyer and seller might feel a little bit anxious about possible things that could go wrong with your closing. The good news is nine times out of 10, there is an easy solution, but timing is super, super important. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Today, I'm gonna to talk about six common things that could go wrong with your closing and how both you as both buyer and seller can keep that stress at bay. So let's get started. Once you have a fully executed contract, your closing agent is going to perform a title search for the property. This could be either your title company or you're an attorney. This is done to make sure that the title is clear and can be conveyed to your new buyer. The title search uncovers a lien or someone who is not the listed owner of the property. This would need to be addressed immediately. The good news is usually we just have to determine whether or not that lien actually belongs to the property. And if not, simply your title agent will have you sign an affidavit at closing. The first thing the buyer is going to do is schedule a home inspection. There is a set time period for this, usually 7 to 15 days to complete all inspections. If a major structural issue is uncovered, this could affect whether or not the home even qualifies for financing. While negotiating possible repairs, it is super important that neither buyer or seller breach the inspection time period. Make sure your realtor has the proper addendums ready to sign just in case you have to extend that inspection period. If your buyer is financing, the bank will have to determine whether or not the home is worth its estimated value. The goal here is, is for the appraised value to come in equal or more than the contractual purchase price. If your appraisal comes in low, you've really got about three choices here. You can get another appraisal, which the buyer is going to have to pay for, or you could challenge the original appraiser's assessed value. Or the most common one is you can negotiate a reduced purchase price with the seller. Now all this may affect your contractual timelines. Again, make sure that your realtor is protecting you by ensuring that all of your contractual timelines have not been breached. Word of caution, get everything in writing. Sometimes the issue has absolutely nothing to do with the home itself. Often a seller is buying their new home contingent on their current home selling. For example, the seller might be building their new home. Let's say the builder ran into some unforeseen circumstances that may have to cause that completion date to be extended. The seller may ask the buyer to extend that closing date. In all cases when your closing date is extended, make sure that you have written agreements in place. Although this issue may seem like a huge source of stress, it could actually be remedied to benefit you both. But that's another video. A mortgage isn't locked down until all the paperwork has been signed. Even if your buyer has been pre-approved, there's no guarantee that the bank is just going to hand over the money. As a buyer, your lender should have advised you that any major change to your credit score or your current employment could cause you to lose your pre-approval status. As a buyer, you could head off some of these potential issues. Please make sure you fully understand before you get into purchase contract what you can and cannot do during the closing process. And as seller, make sure your realtor is staying in communication with the buyer's lender. You want those periodic and reassuring reports that all is still going well on the buyer's end. The final walkthrough is usually done the night before or the day of closing. This is done to be reminded that the house remains as we know it and that all items are remaining that are per your contract. If you see damage that wasn't there before, this would have to be addressed with the seller immediately before closing can take place. At this point, neither party wants to delay closing. There's usually a very simple resolution to these rare issues. The important thing is to have all remedies in writing and signed by all parties. The purpose of this video is for you to go into your real estate transaction with wide open eyes. So I invite you to comment below, fill in the blank, what if happens? Rest assured, if you are prepared, educated, and have experienced representation, you can weather any storm that arises. And if you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe and the little bell too to be notified of all my future videos. I put out a new one every single Monday and you won't want to miss a thing. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.